are back for another week talking about snow and winter weather. And today's a story day, so I do have a fun snow story to share. But first, we wanted to talk about some fun facts about snow that we've discovered. So the first fact we wanted to share is the temperature has to be 32 degrees or colder for water to turn into ice. So it has to be at least 32 degrees outside for us to have snow instead of rain. Every snowflake has six sides. Clouds can make snow even in the summer, but because the summer air close to the earth is warm, the snow turns into rain by the time it reaches us. When strong winds drive heavy snow, we have a blizzard. Blizzard. I don't think I've ever been alive for a blizzard, have you? I don't think so. We don't really have very many blizzards here in Carbondale. Thunder snow is when it snows while there is thunder and lightning. Snow is actually not white, it is clear. And why does it look white? Um, because um, I think the corners of the, of the snowflakes are like white, I think. And so whenever they pile up, the snow turns all white. Yeah, and it's the way the, the light reflects off of the crystals in the snowflake, it kind of makes it look white. And um, Sometimes it's like it met and um, like from the street lights, sometimes um, the snow looks orange. Yeah, that's true. Okay, and the largest snowman ever built was 122 feet tall. Oh my gosh. That's like taller than a building. Built in Maine in 2008. How big was the carrot nose? What a <laughs> big body and a giant. Like the size of a car, I don't know. Okay, so there were some fun facts about snow. Now we're going to share a snow story. The story that we chose to share today is called When Will It Snow? by Lisa Brody Cook. It was November. All Martin McGregor wanted to do was build a snowman. But so far this season, no snow had come. I live for snowman building, said Martin McGregor. Last year, I built the biggest snowman in the neighborhood. Martin tried making a snowman using the marshmallows in his hot chocolate, but the marshmallow snowman melted too quickly and ended up as little more than a marshmallow mustache. Even the birds look like they want some snow, he grumbled. His mom was going to the basement with the laundry. Be glad we don't have to shovel the driveway. Keep an eye on your sister for a minute. Martin McGregor sighed. His mother didn't understand. He glanced at his sister in the high chair. She didn't understand either, but she ate her pancakes. Martin got a fabulous idea. He took out a brand new bag of flour and dumped it, whoosh, all over his syrupy sister. A snow baby, yelled Martin triumphantly. Wah, yelled his sister. Martin, yelled his mother. Oh, no. Martin McGregor waited for the snow in his cooling off chair. In December, there was still no snow, not even for a white Christmas. One day, a light dusting barely covered the grass, but Martin McGregor was excited anyway. He called to his dad, if you need me, I'll be snowman building, building, building. Martin McGregor piled and piled and piled the snow. Martin was disgusted. It won't stick together, he yelled. His dad was backing his car out of the garage. Well, I for one am glad the roads won't be slick. Don't forget to take Sadie for a walk while I'm out. Martin McGregor rolled his eyes. His father didn't understand. He glanced at Sadie with the leash in her mouth. Sadie didn't understand either. But as Sadie wagged her tail, Martin got an amazing idea. Sadie sat calmly as Martin McGregor glued cotton balls all over her fur. But when Martin's dad returned home, Sadie tore off running. Bits of cotton covered the yard. Presenting Sadie the snow dog, yelled Martin. Woof, barked Sadie. Martin, yelled his dad. Martin McGregor waited for the snow while he gave Sadie a bath. In January, the weather was cloudy, gray, and gloomy, but there was no snow. Martin thought his mashed potatoes had possibilities, but they made little more than a mushy mess. Martin sighed and plopped his head down on the table. His mom said, go take your bath, Martin. Maybe that will cheer you up. And please be finished before the ladies from my book club arrive. Martin McGregor poured in the entire bottle of bubble bath and turned on the whirlpool. It made the perfect foam. As he lay there, Martin McGregor got an incredible idea. With the foam covering every inch of him, he stood up to admire himself in the mirror. Then he headed downstairs into the living room. Look, everybody, a snowman, he announced. 
Oh, Martin, said his mom. The bubbles began to slide downward at an alarmingly quick pace. The entire book club stared with open mouths at Martin in his nothingness. Oh, no. Martin McGregor waited for the snow in his room with the lights out. In February, the weatherman finally predicted a huge snowstorm. Martin leaped out of bed bright and early the next morning and sprinted to the window, but there was no snow. Crummy weatherman, mumbled Martin McGregor. I'm moving to Alaska. Don't forget your boots, said his dad. That day, Martin wore all white and tried stuffing his clothes to look like a snowman, but he just looked silly. In art class, Martin McGregor painted an enormous snowman. His art teacher, Mrs. French, exclaimed, Martin, you have captured the true essence of a snowman. Martin McGregor gave her a disgusted look and yelled, The essence of a snowman is snow. He tore up his paper and threw it on the floor. Martin McGregor waited for the snow in the principal's office. March came. It was unusually warm. Come on, son, called Martin's dad. Help me with yard work on this beautiful spring day. Martin McGregor tried to make a grass man out of grass clippings and leaves, but it blew away with a gust of wind. After working in the yard, Martin got a wonderful idea. On the front porch, he used his dad's shaving cream and his mom's lipstick to create a snowman. All I have is a droopy, gloopy lump of nothing, he said. He was not amused. His baby sister was amused. She finger painted the windows. She finger painted the door. She covered herself in shaving cream. When Martin's mom and dad came out on the porch, they were not amused. I wish I had gone to Alaska, Martin whispered. Martin McGregor had no TV for the rest of the week and he stopped waiting for the snow. On the first day of April, Martin woke up with a jolt. It was brighter than usual outside. He raced to the window. Martin McGregor could not believe his eyes. Everything was covered in sparkling white snow. He stared at a frozen world. Awesome, a blizzard, he cried. And he threw on his clothes and ran out the door. Yay, snow. Okay. School was canceled for three whole days and Martin made a snowman, a snow lady, a snow boy, a snow girl, and a snow baby. His mom and dad even helped. Despite frozen ears and a frozen nose, frozen fingers and frozen toes, he couldn't have been happier. Martin McGregor finally got to build his snowman. Then came May. All Martin McGregor wanted to do was go swimming and build sand castles. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that story about Martin waiting for snow. And hopefully we don't have to wait until next year for some snow. Hopefully we get some this year. And join us back later in the week for another winter-themed craft. Bye!